Cameron Ross started the Salise Bioproducts Company to produce single-use plastic alternatives from plant materials like bees. They are made of polylactic acid, known as PLA, from cornstarches. The difference between these two is if you crumble them, they don't like to combat by plastic bells. They right. They're much more less. The chief election committee officer says this year there has been a great number of first-time voters and young voters across stations in Arlington community. Polling places have been open since 6 in the morning today and I'm out here at Madison Community Center in Arlington to talk to Virginia residents about why is this primary so significant to them and here's what they had to say. Take a listen. But this isn't any ordinary bakery. This place has a special mission that goes beyond baked goods. So this is the bottom floor, that's the actual bakery, and it's mostly operated by veterans. And on the second floor, there's a big classroom where fellows can take classes to complete their work-study program. Even on a weekday, it is a busy scene at this restaurant on Washington's U Street. I see that you guys order fried chicken and some green beans, and there's mac and cheese. Which one is your favorite? Definitely the fried chicken. Yeah? For sure. Yeah. Did you grow up with the food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So being from Texas, um, we ate a lot of soul food, fried chicken, waffles. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cornbread, everything. Now, just because it's Children's Day doesn't mean adults can't enjoy themselves on the holiday. At this traditional playground, parents got to travel back in time, playing their favorite games from childhood. The golden holiday is, for many, also the time to open up their wallets. People with jobs are spending an average of some 430 U.S. dollars for this year's unprecedented 10-day break. That's around 20% more than last year, when spending was less than $360. It looks like those who decided to spend as much time as possible with their family and leave at the last minute made the right choice. They should be able to enjoy an easy ride back home. Back to you, Danielle. Now, we've surely seen a number of double and triple gold medalists this year, but on Sunday, a talented young athlete captivated the crowd with some gravity-defying moves while picking up her third gold. I'm talking about U.S. gymnast Simone Biles, of course. To accommodate the growing number of passengers and to live up to the reputation of being the world number one, Korea's main gateway has done a lot to improve its facilities, such as increasing the number of body scanners and expanding children's play area. And of course, the latest and the most anticipated upgrade this year, the grand opening of the individual pod hotel rooms. Known as a gentleman's sport, fencing requires a lot more than skills, speed, or strength. It's all about mental agility. By the way, this is a lot heavier than it looks. So I think what a lot of people want to know is, what's the next step for an Olympian after he wins a medal? You said this was your last Olympics, but can you really see yourself without a sword in your hand? It can pinpoint the exact travel route and display a bird's eye view of all the places it has passed by, minute by minute. It's not hard to find Korean beauty products in Ho Chi Minh City. Here in Hai Ba Chung Street, one of the most popular shopping districts of the city, many different Korean cosmetic giants have sold their wares for a few years now. It's one competition after another for the busy champion. She can't get too comfortable at home. After just a few days of rest, she will go to Japan for the Women's Open Championship starting next Thursday. And now it's the moment this group of young skaters has been waiting for. They're finally going to get some ice time with the world champion siblings. And last year, the organization says it delivered nearly one million hot meals to people in need in the D.C. area. What would you say is the most expensive ingredient that you know, these women don't really usually have? The most expensive ingredient is probably the protein. And Jin Lee, VOA News, Washington.